Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared plus 12x plus 4 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 6 times root x. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since this x is under square root, so x must be greater than or equal to 0. Now if we multiply both sides by this x plus 2, this implies that uh, x squared plus uh, 12 times x plus 4 is equal to 6 times root x times x plus 2. Now we suppose that t is equal to root x and if we square both sides this implies that uh, t squared is equal to x. We substitute uh, t and t squared in this equation, then this equation will become t squared whole squared plus uh, 12 times uh, t squared plus 4 is equal to 6 times t times uh, t squared plus 2. Now, this uh, t squared whole squared will become t to the power 4 plus 12t squared plus 4 is equal to this 6t times t squared will become 6t cubed plus 6t times 2 will become 12 times t. Now, we move with these two terms to the left hand side. So, this will become t to the power 4 this is 6 t cubed will become negative 6 t cubed plus this 12 t squared and this 12 t will become negative 12 times t plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we divide both sides of this equation by t squared. 6t cubed divided by t squared, 12t squared divided by t squared, negative 12t divided by t squared, and 4 divided by t squared, 0 divided by t squared. This uh, t to the power 4 divided by t squared will become t squared minus uh, 6t cubed divided by t squared will become 6 times t plus 12t squared divided by t squared will become 12 minus this 12t over t squared will become 12 divided by t plus this will remain same 4 divided by t squared is equal to 0 divided by t squared is 0. Now, we combine the terms with the t squared and we combine the terms with the t. So, this will become t squared plus 4 over t squared minus 6 times t minus 12 over t plus this 12 is equal to 0. Next, t squared plus this 4 over t squared can be written as a 2 over t whole squared. From these two terms, a negative 60 minus 12 over t, we can factor out negative 6. Negative 6 as common factor in back left, t plus 2 over t plus uh, this 12 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2ab is equal to a plus b whole squared. This uh, t squared plus uh, 2 over t squared will become t plus 2 over t whole 
squared minus 2 times t times 2 over t minus this expression 6 times t plus 2 over t plus this 12 is equal to 0. Now, this t will be considered out with this t and this will become t plus 2 over t whole squared minus this 2 times 2 will become 4 minus 6 times t plus 2 over t plus 12 is equal to 0. Next, t plus 2 over t whole squared. We write this expression negative 6 times t plus 2 over t. This negative 4 plus 12 will become plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, we suppose that t plus 2 over t is equal to m. So, this equation will become m squared minus 6 times m plus 8 is equal to 0 and this quadratic equation is factorable we write this m squared m squared. This negative 6 m can be written as a negative 4 times m minus 2 times m plus 8 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out m. In bracket left, uh, m minus 4. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 2. In bracket left, uh, m minus 4 is equal to 0. And this expression m minus 4 is common. So, we factor out m minus 4. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this m and this negative 2. In bracket left, m minus 2 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression m minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 4. And from this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 2. Now, we recall that we have supposed that t plus 2 over t is equal to m. We have supposed that t plus 2 over t is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 4, then this equation will become t plus 2 over t is equal to 4. And when m is equal to 2, then this equation will become t plus 2 over t is equal to 2. From this equation, if we multiply both sides by t, this implies that uh, t squared plus 2 is equal to 4 times t. Move this 4 t to the left hand side, this will become t squared minus 4 times t plus 2 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, t is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, t is equal to negative times negative 4 will become 4 plus or minus square root of this negative 4 squared is 16 negative 4 times 1 times 2, negative 8 divided by 2 times 1, 2 and t is equal to 4 plus minus 
this will become square root of 8 divided by 2 next t is equal to 4 plus minus this root 8 will become 2 times root 2 divided by 2 and the 2 1 time 2 2 times 4 2 1 time we get the value of t is equal to 2 plus minus root 2 now from this equation if we multiply both sides by t this implies that uh, t squared plus 2 is equal to 2 times t move this 2t to the left hand side this will become t squared minus 2 times t plus 2 is equal to 0 and according to quadratic formula t is equal to negative times negative 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1 and the t is equal to negative times negative 2 will become 2 plus or minus square root of this negative 2 squared will become 4 and the minus 4 times 1 times 2 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 next t is equal to 2 plus minus uh, this will become square root of negative 4 divided by 2 and the uh, t is equal to 2 plus minus uh, this uh, square root of negative 4 will become root 4 times uh, root negative 1 divided by 2 and the uh, t is equal to 2 plus minus uh, root 4 will become 2 and root negative 1 will become i divided by 2 and 2 1 time 2 1 time 2 1 time so we get the value of t is equal to 1 plus minus i now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, t is equal to root x we have supposed that uh, root x is equal to t so when t is equal to 2 plus minus root 2 this equation will become root x is equal to 2 plus minus root 2 and we take square of both sides so this uh, square will be considered with this uh, square root and we get the value of x is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus minus 2 times a times b plus uh, b squared this uh, 2 plus minus uh, roots 2 whole squared will become 2 squared plus minus 2 times 2 times root 2 plus root 2 squared next x is equal to 2 squared is 4 plus minus 2 times 2 4 times this root 2 plus this square will be considered with this square root and here we are left with 2 next x is equal to this 4 plus 2 will become 6 plus minus 4 times root 2 this is the first and second value of x now when t is equal to 1 plus minus i then this equation will become root x is equal to 1 plus minus i and we take square of both sides so this square will be considered with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to by using this algebraic identity 
this uh, 1 plus minus i whole squared will become 1 squared plus minus uh, 2 times 1 times i plus i squared next x is equal to 1 squared is 1 plus or minus 2 times 1 times i 2 i this i squared i squared is equal to negative 1 so we replace this i squared with the negative 1 this negative 1 will be considered with this positive 1 and we get the value of x is equal to plus or minus 2 times i this is the third and fourth value of x so we get uh, four values of x uh, 6 plus minus uh, 4 times root 2 and uh, plus minus uh, 2i and the domain of the equation is uh, x must be greater than or equal to 0 so both these values are greater than 0 these solutions are valid these uh, complex solutions are also valid